Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Berg 501 and today I wanted to go over some new leaks for Marvel's Avengers. There's actually been a ton of different leaks and data mines that show possible missions or characters that will be added to this game or are going to be in the game from the start. And a lot of this stuff is spoilers. A bunch of it definitely seems like it's going to be in the game when the game comes out. So if you don't want to be spoiled about anything, don't watch the rest of the video, especially a lot of the stuff in the code definitely goes over some stuff that will most likely be spoilers. Also, all the write-up post going over the stuff that posted this will be linked in the description if you want to check that out. The first thing I want to go over are these five images that were recently posted. Don't know where these leaks are from. These have some cool stuff, especially some stuff that hasn't really been talked about when it comes to this game a lot. The first one is just Iron Man, Captain America. Then we have some showing Iron Man on a fully refurbished helicarrier. I'm assuming this is just the same one. I wouldn't assume they would build a full new one. This is probably just it being refurbished and rebuilt as you go throughout the campaign just showing different areas. Then we have a picture that's one of the most interesting ones. This is Kamala on the ship. It shows two different vendors. One that is clearly some type of cosmetic vendor. I'm assuming these aren't in the marketplace. Maybe this one's the actual in-game marketplace that you buy the costumes and skins for money. But I'm assuming these are actually just in-game vendors because this one to the left with the symbol seems to be more combat items, which would just be some vendor that you use currency to buy stuff at and this one right here i'm also assuming not 100 sure but it does show different like shirts and seems to be a cosmetic vendor so i'm assuming this is going to be a cosmetic vendor with in-game currency and the marketplace is probably going to be something that's not that you walk up to in game is what i would assume and vendors haven't really been talked a lot about we do know from code and some devs talking about it that there will be multiple factions in the game so most likely there's going to be a lot of different vendors throughout the game this just kind of shows up that there is going to be vendors even on what looks to be the helicarrier. And then the last image that also kind of reinforces that this is more throughout the campaign because this isn't right at the start because you could see this is all the starting heroes. You have Kamala here and she does seem to be in her superhero costume. So this shows that it wouldn't be something at the start of the game because she's not actually wearing this at the start of the game. So this seems to be either a totally different helicarrier. Most likely what it is is just rebuilding and re refurbishing the one that gets destroyed in the start of the campaign. Pretty much it for the images. The main thing is the vendors. Definitely pretty interesting to see these vendors and then seeing all six of the playable characters at launch of the game or that we know of at the launch of the game all being together in a refurbished or new helicarrier. Next up is a bunch of different code that people have been sifting through in the PC version showing a bunch of different story beats and a bunch of different areas that we will be going to. This stuff is not really in any order but I just highlighted some different things that are pretty interesting. So we do see a bunch of different missions for a day. Do we have say Path to Stark Industries booth picked up first comic Path to Reactor booth? This is most likely because there has been some other leaked images that I couldn't really find. People showing Kamala, so most likely you plays Kamala being at the convention that starts the game, starts a day, and just going through and not exactly starting on the bridge, which is where all the demos start. Then some other campaign stuff, which also mentioned mentions Antil is also mentioned a lot lower in these coding. I just highlight a bunch of different things that seem really interesting. So this is where all the Antil stuff is actually shown. You talk to a bunch of different people. This seems to be one of the story areas, one of the mission chapters, one of the main campaign chapters. You go to Antil and do a bunch of stuff there, which seems pretty cool. Next, we have a bunch of different bosses being shown and boss layers. And I think they have talked about boss, boss layers slightly as being a different objective or different game mode in the game we do see a bunch of different versions of different bosses so we have abomination resistance version and shield version and a lot of these have both those versions as well it's even boss layer versions of abomination with these different coatings next to them i think these coatings are actually whatever faction they are doing the mission for so maybe different factions have alternative story missions around beating a specific boss or maybe it's just a different harder version or a different version to get reputation with different factions or something like that not exactly sure but there's a bunch of different versions of different bosses there's even like intro versions resistance versions shield version for taskmaster not exactly sure but it does show a bunch of different bosses you have watchdogs abomination taskmaster all this different stuff seems pretty cool and seeing code for different boss layers different bosses is always really cool because boss fights are probably going to be some of the coolest stuff in the game like they are most games then we have some more stuff we have more bosses here we have 
Red Hawk. We have Super Adaptoid 1, 2, and 3, Robot Factory, so just different bosses. These are under combat, so not exactly sure what these are. Maybe these are just different missions. There's more bosses down here. There's a bunch of different stuff, and a lot of these are going over mission. There's also a weird one right here, which is DLC Heroes. I'm wondering if this is just some mission out of order. Maybe it comes later on, and this is how they're going to introduce us to DLC Heroes. This is going to be some mission or something that introduces us to a new hero, or if this is something that's in the game when it releases, and maybe we get to see like a sneak preview of a bunch of different DLC heroes or something. Not sure on that. There's a bunch of demo stuff, like different E3 demos and stuff in the code as well. So then we have some more interesting stuff going over different factions. We have Hank Pym 2 and 4. What's weird about this is these are also sharing the codes that we were just looking at before, and I don't know why there would be different codes with different Hank Pym's. Not exactly certain. It seems to be maybe different rep orders or maybe UTZ. It could be a different reputation amount. So maybe when you get to a certain point and changes, or maybe these are different areas because they are under different quest names. We do have three different Maria Hill factions. This may also just be different mission names for different factions. Then right here, we have faction vendor complete. I'm assuming that's either be fully unlocking the vendor or if that's maxing out that faction vendor so you're able to buy everything the way this is looking i'm assuming this is kind of going to work like something like world of warcraft factions where you do missions for them you kill different enemies for them you get something like reputation the more reputation you get the higher rank you get with that faction then you can buy more things possibly unlock more missions or quests with them something like that and it does seem to indicate that then we have more stuff so we have claw raids is weird because we have raids already in the code and i think this is the only raid in the code there might be more below i think it might say kree raid most likely i'm assuming that these are the raids that will be in the game shortly after release because the devs did confirm in an ama that there will be raids not months but weeks after the game's release so most likely a lot of these raids are already in the code already almost done i assume it's going to be something like wow raids where they don't want you doing it right away or rushing as fast as possible to try to get to that raid as quickly as possible they're leaving it out of the game for a few weeks then they're giving everybody a chance to do all the campaigns and stuff like that then the raid will come out as more content which is something that wow has done pretty much since its release then we have kree boss there's multiple things talking about the kree in these codes we will be facing kree which is also pretty exciting and then there's tons of stuff because this is using the same code uts as some of the different factions so maybe these are more faction missions then down here there's also something super exciting down here with a bunch of stuff that talks about wakanda the wakanda region welcome to wakanda so i'm assuming these are different missions that take you to the wakanda region and start going over that story the claw raid is within this so there's a possibility since we know that the raid won't be in once the game launches it will be a few weeks after maybe wakanda is also stuff that will be released when the raid comes out so maybe we're getting a full region plus the raid so we do some quests throughout wakanda and then get to the raid and that's the content we get a few weeks after launch which would, would be really cool that would be quite a lot of content to get a couple weeks after launch and there's a bunch of different other stuff again i'm gonna have these links in the description so if you guys want to look through this code yourself that's mainly the stuff i was more excited about that i want to go over and this just shows a bunch of different things take this all with a grain of salt because there can be a lot of leftover code there's even demos and stuff in this from e3 and stuff like that so there can be a lot of leftover code there can be code of stuff they were working on may never release there could be stuff from dlcs that they just put a little bit in and that's going to be you know months on the line stuff like that all this stuff isn't going to be stuff that's not used longer down the road dlc so some of the stuff will definitely be in the game and that's pretty much all the leaks i want to go over again this game just keeps reinforcing my excitement that this game has a ton of potential will possibly be a really expansive game one of my personal favorite things about a lot of bigger games and games that continue to add content years and years is just the world building and having a massive world that is built up and constantly expand on that is super exciting to me so that's what i want to go over today subscribe if you want to see more Mar marvel avengers or any other videos leave a like if you liked the video leave a comment down below what you guys think about all this possible leak and data mine information and thanks for watching